it damage soak or at least set up because liquid right now they don't have anyone that naturally goes i've locked this guy down here and we are fighting you know my like boxy's actually pretty proficient mid laner himself uh he has a pretty interesting off lane style, and maybe that some of that comes down to uh, how he is in the mid lane. Ultra aggressive. I actually, uh, the during the Dream ha Dream Hack uh, Major, oh. Navi and Liquid are matching up against each other, and they decided to have a little one v one. Zibe, hold up. Oh, Zibe is dead. Yeah, he's just gonna get run down. That's gonna be your first blood, and he eats the boar. Just the plus one there for Koifa. I don't think this top lane is putting much pressure, especially the way they set up the lanes. Doom's just gonna eat the boar. Pac has position four, like he does. TA versus TA matchup, and Boxy actually walked away with the winner. Uh, he managed to get the kill on Magical. It was apparently a really close one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, he managed to do it. it yeah, love it, those uh, same heroes mid, one versus one, best of threes. You said TA against TA? Yeah, that's a Magical hero too. Zibe, in some trouble here, is going to die again. And you're absolutely right, Lacoste. This is just not the matchup that uh, I think they were hope happy, but like we need to switch things up because I'm, I'm suffering a bit or if it's going to be Zibe and just be like, this lane is hell. I can't get anything done. Please, can we can we uh, switcheroo? They even have Ring of Bassi in this lane for extra spamming. You use nice. Fatal Bonds on a creep way. Look at Mickey. Oh, just using her. Dagger defensively. Boxy. Does he have a swashbuckle? Looks like he doesn't want to blow it just yet. He's just going to die. Jesse. Big, big kill there. At the same time, Taiga did manage to kill Pylai Dai. As I believe Mikke was spamming him with Dagside. He'll pick it up. He seems like a, a player who is able to, unlike most carries, is able to deal with kind of a, a crap, crap lane. And that's very rare in Dota, having a player like that. Zibe will TP out back to Tier 1 tower. He also has a point in the Axis. Mm. Interesting. I'm not okay. sure why. Usually we don't see that. Like you want to max out your aura, especially when you have a lineup like this. Luna in the team. That profit, you want to be pushing for objectives. Because you want to have three points in board, three points in hawk. Yeah, yeah. Then have one, three, one. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. Or maybe he just misclicked. <laughs> <laughs> well, if five men do manage to come out on top of Liquid, maybe we'll get that chance to uh, hear from them in the interview. We're going to see Ace get gone on with the disruption. A lot of Shadow Poison stacks here. They get the fifth one. It's going to be a decent amount of damage with the dagger, too. But uh, looks like it's probably not enough here. Oh, okay. Taiga misread that situation. Yeah. Tried to go for the TP out. Instantly denied by Ace. It's such a low. He got the drums, even though drums got nerfed. Two last stats on the item, still very good. And they find Faded Brooch. Like, this is the item you want to get on your Doom. All that extra movement speed helps out his mana issues. You're going to put that first Doom to use here. See if the deny goes off. I see Zibe nearby. Looks like he tried to go for it with the bulk damage yeah. from five men. Maybe just tank up. Like getting Lotus Orb at one point, the Vlad's hood is the item build in my really opinion. Really fast move coming in here. The Spectre ult's going to go off, but they're going to head right into a Golem. But with a roll in from Boxy, he's going to be able to disrupt things a little bit. They should be able to finish off Zibe here. Chessy, though, can still play into this, especially with the Spirit Siphon charges he still has up. Boxy staying on top of him here, but he has to back away from this Golem. It does too much damage. So five men will not get too much out of this uh, first this area, even with the tower gone, because you got this three-man smoke cutting through the river, looking to be able to sandwich five men in. See if they can catch him out. Already slowing down That's Ace, but look at Golem coming in with the Fatal Bond. See Eclipse going down, and they have to retreat immediately. Try and get rid of some of this damage. The Rolling Thunder does manage to go off, but he's got to just roll the hell on out of here, because that was a... Secured the kill. Liquid coming in hot and heavy. Coming for five men. Zibe, he's going to be the target here of a quick sandwich there from Liquid. Just an easy kill. Dyer's Nothing really big expended, though. Structures are for Gotta respect the little things still. Lacoste is now we're going to use something a little bit bigger. Both the coil and the exorcism going to go off here. On to, and he snaps the coil. Mickey, he was dead one way or another. So, Doom usually being the one between. Uh oh. Now they did just kind of 
Loosen up a little bit now, my again. man. They're going to plow right in. They're going to be able to catch the specter here once again. Coil exorcism, and they're going to use the golem here. That is heavy commitment to make sure Mickey does go down. Not waiting for the blink dagger on Koifa, even though he is close. They could use that extra initiation. Nope. Disruption into the Rolling Thunder. That's going to be a pretty nice chain stun that should result in a kill. And with that exorcism usage, they might be able to... Just being able to gang up on this Roshan and Liquid will not have a response fast enough. Baiting out the haste room, perhaps. Taiga gets the disruption, managed to haste himself away. Doom, meanwhile, jumping inside the pit, but did not manage to get either the Roshan or the Aegis. Even without DP ulti, they can still try to go for tier 2 tower. 40 seconds without... Do I mean, BKB, yeah, it's good, but still, there's two BKB piercing abilities in this game. Middle tower is yeah, under this is the scary part of any Beastmaster lineup is going to give you good pushing power constantly. Boxy's going to roll in, though, starting off on Ace with the Disruption Illusions on him. This is looking real bad for the carry of five men. They're going to lose their Aegis right away underneath the Tier 2. Here come the rest of five men, though. They need to be able to bail out their carry. Ace knows there is no BKB piercing disables with the Doom. He's rock on himself, which is not super efficient, or mm -hmm. he just dies before. Running into him. Oh, he managed to get the Centaur stomp before Misery could respond. He doesn't want to blow the Doom, but he finally realizes they're just not going to have the damage without it. And Misery will put out some hefty damage with the Swashbuckle. Rotating down to the bottom lane behind Misery here. They oh, see Mickey. Okay. He's been caught by the hawk. hawk. He was hiding inside the trees, and Misery played dumb until the rest of his team could be there. What a beautiful pickoff. The item that we okay. usually don't see, maybe if there's like a Broodmother on the enemy team, if you have a mid laner that you have someone like a, let's say, a Centaur or a Beastmaster, so you need to rush it. Oh, big and go on into the Fatal Bonds. They try and get out the Primal Roar. They're denied, but so too uh, is evil. the Rolling Thunder. Oxy, he gets it off fairly, and they do manage to run down Zibe here. They're fighting underneath this upheaval, but Koifa doesn't give a damn. He's got his BKB. He's big bad, and he's coming for Ace, but Ace, he's going to fight back. The five men, they trade take on Liquid, but they are denied as Ace goes down. Can Chessie now come through and save this fight? Look at the counter upheaval from Insania. He's slowing down Chessie a bit by bit, letting the rest of his team run away while he will be consumed, gobbled up by the ghosts. So two for two trade, Liquid still chasing, make it full HP. Another stomp, it catches Misery again before he can phase shift, he gets off the coil though, and Chessie, he still has the remnants of his ultimate. Misery is even surviving now, they get off the disruption, and they finish off Misery, but the Exorcism is doing so much damage to Mickey and he can't get out, Lacoste, he can't get out, he's stuck. Mad upheaval. Let's go, this is the dream position five Ruby game. It really is, Liquid, Koifa. It's a little bit of deja vu. He's gonna go into the pits as they're doing it. Has and buyback. He saw Taiga, he thought about the disruption, decided against it with a buyback coming in though. They're gonna try and get on top. The Warlock does manage to get off his ultimate right before he goes down to the Spectre. But now this Rolling Thunder, it is stunning up Misery and they're doing a lot of damage to Ace as well. They can finish off Ace and be really big. They throw their Doom at him. Looks like they're gonna be able to chase him down pretty easily. He's now comes down to Chessie to be able to win this oh, fight out bad. with the Exorcism as Taiga cuts off Ace to make sure there's no chance in hell. That he is getting out to hell. He will go. Two people dead. Chessy with the DP out the BKB. Ooh, he timed that. Man, they can no longer let Liquid get that initiation. They can no longer allow them to start the fights. They need to be able to get on top of Liquid right away. Telekinesis push back. Guardian Greaves off the silence here. Trying to get on top, though. A silence comes in from the Death Prophet. But Boxy's just fighting it out here underneath the Exorcism. Meanwhile, he's trying to chase down the supports. His Chessie, he might be able to get insane. The Disruption's going to be able to buy him a little bit of time. The Primal Roar out onto Taiga as well. Turn around. Primal oh, Roar out from Insania is going to be able to stall up Chessie while the cores of Liquid are pushing forward, trying to also go for the back line. But the Warlock, it's slowing him down so much. That damn upheaval. Mickey says enough with it. They managed to bring him down. Down. Chessy still had free reign. Both sides are like, screw the supports. Ooh. That's what. Uh, I always like. I think timeless relic on like Puck is pretty insane. It is. For now, he's just holding. Oh, they're gonna try and catch Boxy here. Speaking of that, there goes the initiation from the Spectre at the same time. Disruption to be able to bail Boxy out. Koifa gets in there with the BKB. That's get a off good the roar. Doom, though. A really good roar out. He's surrounded by the Exorcism. Koifa will finally get off the Doom, but he has to run away. The Exorcism goes for chasing him, but Mickey, he's focusing on this Death Prophet. No, he's not. He's focusing on Ace instead. While Boxy deals with the Death Prophet, they are just getting wiped out. 
Liquid are heating up, and now they're going to be able to... Luna, I did not see Luna using ulti in quite some time. Most of the time, she was just doomed. She has buyback, but I, I don't think you want to buy back here. Like, if you buy back, you die. The game is just straight up over. You don't yep. have damage. Yeah. And Liquid, if they're not going to go for the throne, if they're just going to go for the two lanes of barracks, that's fine. You still have the tier two up at top, but it is looking like a dismal affair either way. Four or five men. Boxy going to make sure they catch Misery as he tries to jump out a little bit outside the base, clean up some creeps. Uh, Misery is extremely farmed, and I think it gives him false sense of security that, you know, he can do all this stuff, but he does not have a defensive item. It's just a bling dagger face shift. So two set of barracks. Next Roche may respawn in a minute. Here, they're gonna, not going to overcommit for it. Make sure they don't get caught inside the pit where Golem and Upheaval would be massive. Chessy, he's going to pop it. He's level 25 as well. So with that haste, he's going to be able to run down a lot of heroes. They There's bring around Flammermore out onto him. The Andis popping out of Taiga is going to allow him to disengage. And all of a sudden, the Zeth Prophet, she's taking so much damage. And Mickey has already cleaned up the Warlock as well. And now he's going to come in, finish off the five men. Uh, they do have the buyback on Ace, but it looks like very few others as... Uh, just Luna, you know, very close to Divine Rapier. Misery buying back. Last set of racks standing. Another buyback from Luna. One more fight, but without two heroes, it's gonna be tough. Oh, there goes the Eclipse, but you can see Boxy quickly shakes it off, is able to swashbuckle out. They'll finish off this Megas here. The repair kits only slowing things down. The five man base about to take a pounding, and five men, not much they can do to stand up to it. I mean, when it's time to call it, it's time to call it. <laughs> That's my favorite Lacrosse quote. Uh, <laughs> it is. It is indeed time to call it. That's what five men do. Game one, they give in. It's just a much better execution coming out from Team Liquid in this one. You know, Spectre used... Take away one of the heroes mechanics and then liquid finish it off with an invoker it's a very scary lineup again i think liquid the way that they play could just kind of fiercely charge at people you are being enabled by that io so you just get a level or two of your passive oh First blood is on the creep. table and it looks like he caught caught out by the neutrals uh, as well as the heal a little bit extra sustain in lane. Misery with his Tranquil Boots trying to work his way into this mid lane, trying to pressure Koifa here because they've got the Wrath of Nature. The big nuke is coming in, and it does bounce back off of Taiga, but they still manage to hit Koifa there with a burst Strike as well. But a good save from Taiga. It's going to slow down the damage from Chessy and allow Koifa to be able to disengage. Taiga may not be so lucky, though, to get out of here. The tower shots are being taken up by the Treants so they can freely dive over and over and over again. Misery keeps it going here, killing Insania's Courier. Has been killed. That last hit on Nasus Prophet Ulti dealt like 500 damage to Koikwa, but still not enough. They're in. Chasing him back. Just making sure they get this mid tower nicely. <laughs> Look at Boxy going to town on himself over there. Healing up, healing up, Five healing up. Mana. Managed to. Oh! Nice burrow strike to stop the Doom from coming out, but it looks like they may not need it at all. So maybe it's actually better for Liquid. In Io, so he might upgrade that to Spirit Vessel eventually. Even though it's the spellable with the Presti attack. Mickey. Yeah, he's got his time walk up now and will manage to get away. Oh, the first use of Doom is going to be used mid here. Oh, the Sun Dragon will finish him off if he gets it, and he barely does. Chassis does die. No. He just falls, and Invoker is given the kill. Very nice rotation from the Doom. We were talking about a backstage, and we think that uh, Spike Carapace does not interact with uh, Spark Rate, as in it does not bounce back the damage.
onto the Arc Warden, which I I feel like is true. It should. Yeah, it oh, absolutely Chrono. should. Chronosphere into the Sun Strike. That's going to be a fast kill on a Zibe, but Chessie was outside of that Chronosphere, and he'll be able to collect a kill on Insania, and you can see he wants to pressure that tower. They don't even... Right now, they're really not relying on any cooldowns. While in Team Liquid, you have this Doom, you have Chronosphere. Who is a faster clicker? It's Mickey. Mickey gets it, and Boxy gets the kill on a Pylai die. So, support pick off here. Did Pi get the bounty run? I actually didn't quite see it. Me neither. Oh, Jelly. Nice. I still feel you get so much value out of Jelly as a tier 1 item. Chelsea. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, an early jump in for the Burrow Strike onto Insani here with the double damage. They do manage to get this kill, but the Chronosphere onto both of them. That is quite beautiful there from Mickey. Ensures the kill on a Chesse, and we'll see if they actually get Misery as well. The Tornado toss him up in the air. Of course, he's still inside of a Sandstorm. They need Vision. Oh, Carapace Where is the not vision? Do that much. There Drop the Sentry, is. quickly catch him with a Spike Carapace into the Burrow. That's the combo. Work. Gets like Boots of Travel this game. I feel like he definitely should get as the next item. And then they can play even more globally. Man, Boxy <laughs> is not, not afraid to use Doom Ulti. Is that a Purge Creep? I believe so. It's also a great setup. Oh, he's going to go for the duel here. The Ice Blast is going to come in, though. And the Legion Commander doesn't lose the duel, but may still die. Boxy's certainly dead, though, thanks to this heavy rotation from five. Man, no wonder he went for the duel. And the whole party's here. Uh, Ward from Liquid, right above that Radiant uh, Tower Tier 2. That I, I think that should be able to see like those TP rotations on a Tier 2, maybe, or maybe just to see some jungling. Either way, it's it's super deep Ward when they haven't even taken the safe lane tower yet. Yeah, you don't expect this Oh, he's going for He has to throw out the Impale without the Vendetta hit, but with the Ice Blast coming in, it's looking like it's going to be a close call, but it is enough damage. Misery thought about going for the Epicenter and immediately was denied by Mickey. Two kills for the boys in blue. I guess I don't really know what five men colors are. Like killing a full creep wave. This is the build on the Doom, whether you're playing in mid or off lane, drums into BKB. Man, Boxy, he just hates Io. He is not messing around. Pilot dies just like, what's happening right now? Why do we keep getting doomed all the time? It is setting up a lot of kills for Koifi. You have to give it to Liquid. They are really funneling a lot of farm to this Invoker who had a slightly rough laning phase, losing his tower that early and all. Oh, he gets orchided, but he did have a way to be able to cut through the trees. He's got an Iron Talon. Talon. Beautiful. Wrath of Nature coming in. Taiga is going to get dueled up. They should be able to get Oh, look at his Chronos here, though, with the Ice Blast over the top of the Meteor as well. That's going to be two core kills down for five men. Meanwhile, Ace is going to have to battle it out here. The two supports are going for Insania. Yeah, they're certainly managing to get that kill. Koifa and Mickey will retreat. Oh, Mickey. A lot of damage on him. He's thinking about going back in. There is no save for Kronos here besides relocate out. And every single time, they're there to... You know, just to kill Ayo. I like to be able to see him just to be able to get that, yeah. like those those more jumps for Chessy to be able to play off of. And same goes with Zibe here. He's going to be able to get the Orchid. Oh, into the trees yeah. he goes. I think this shows why, because you need one hero to just start a team fight or just start a pickoff. And and then Nature's Prophet deep is in, followed Found him. with the silence. Oh, we Where's missed the, the impale, but they have the vision. They have the vision. It's all good. It's all gravy. Ayo, once again. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine he sees Zibe like 100 HP. He's like, nah, nope. doom, die, doom the IO. Bottom lane, there's that Orchid. And you said the Void, he has to watch out. Can you, they get the duel? Oh, the duel may still go off, but he actually turned around with the Chrono Tree. They're going to go for the IO. They're going to try and finish him off the Sun Strike. Lay it on the side. It actually is Chessy as well. He's almost dead, but the duel is going to be able to bail out Chessy for now. He actually still died. He's still alive. The extra damage, and he's still alive through all of it. Mickey, he gets hit by one more Burrow Strike, but sorry, Misery. Game over. Man, that AA even using ulti on top of Faceless Void, who's hiding in the trees, you know, just thinking maybe they have a vision on me. Did so you see that, by the way? Mickey's the, almost the same level as these two combined. <laughs> it's insane. I mean, he, he was involved in, <laughs> in what? He's going to walk into a sentry here, but he still has the smoke. 
So he's not going to be spotted just yet. And they get the vision from the Ice Blast to be able to spot Ace. The Impale doesn't land. Ace trying to duck away into the trees, but is already hit by the Doom on the right-hand side. Chessy, he's being banged on by Mickey right now. Pops Manta and Sick goes to the Chronosphere. There's going to be the Sun Strike on the two. Can they finish them both off? Finish off one of them. Mickey, he doesn't get Mickey. either. Uh-oh. That's a weird choice from Mickey. Does not want to go for a single kill. I guess he just thought someone else is going to finish him off. Well then, okay. And Nikkei, he's going to connect into them here as they start making their way towards the triangle. Smoke's going to break. Pushing forward. Zibe didn't have his blink dagger up. It gets denied. He's going to be centaur stunned and killed by the meteor. And immediately, Liquid, they're the one to find, to find the pick. 5,000 HP. Trick him into using his, uh, his Mask of Madness. That's one. Sun Strike. Oh, oh yeah. They are hoping to make better use of this game. Sadly, I think we only really, really saw it one. once, maybe. Yeah, yeah. that one on, on a mid lane. Another combo. This time with the Ice Blast instead of the Cataclysm. Koifa still going to lend a helping hand here. Helps get the kill. The last hit. Monster kill streak. Bingo faces void. And then we're looking at the rest of the lineup as well. Do you feel like that? Still kind of goes the same storyline as Tiger's going to find the opening here. Impale, no vendetta, may not be needed though. Chessy's going to pop the BKB sprout. Can he do it? Can he do it? He does it. The old Nyx is that. proc, half HP gone on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely if he, oh, underneath the sentry. He is going to be broken though, so he's not getting those extra hits. Still managed to win the duel though. Just before the tornado. Ooh, okay. Time dilation did not connect. Yeah, and so Zibe walks away with his full movement speed. Radiance middle tower. Has and Mickey fallen. itemizing. Oh, look at bottom lane. Chased him down. Box. He was actually forced to use BKB. That orchid, but after that, got caught a couple of times, and now only has a BKB. Zibe. Bombs out, sees Insania, is going to be able to get the duel. He has the Tempest double here joining him. The Cataclysm almost won that duel. Pilot Dice actually going to come in with the relocate to help out the Legion Commander here. This is not simply a one and done. With the Tempest double and the relocate, they've got plenty of reinforcements to get their man out. Dyer's middle Grow bow and arc attack. warden. Some extra range. Dyer's he just hit level 20 on top of that. Such a big upgrade when you've got that Mjolnir out. Boxy found himself a kill onto the Nature's Prophet. Looks like uh, he tried to sneak in the outpost. I need some eye drops after one AA and the tier 2 tower still standing there. Okay. I mean, yeah. that was a. <laughs> Some ballsy player right there, you know? <laughs> when you put it like that, because they have boots of travel, right? Yeah. And they also have the tier two, which is such a fast TP point to get to that outpost. <laughs> yeah, that was a ballsy move for sure. Mickey! Oh, pops the Manta, but he's still caught in the duel. Can they do enough he's though? He's help. ripping into him. Fortunately, he's going to be saved by the magnetic field, but Mickey is saved by the time walk. They do manage to get the Cataclysm out. They can. They pilot die, save out Ace. He cannot pie. Cannot possibly. Back and forth game. We had to go to the late game when Liquid was yeah. finally able to triumph for this one. They're if, taking over fast. If Mickey had any different item than the Lincoln Sphere there, he dies. Yep. But blocking out the Sanking stun. Oh, we got him. They're still chasing Ace. It don't stop. Mickey's got to be able to hit Ace. Oh, he managed to get the Orchid onto Mickey. Mickey pops an answer, though. Quickly time walks through into the enemy. He doesn't back down. He never backs down, it seems. He just keeps going. The spike hair face holds Pile I Die in place. Misery going to be caught. The time lock gets, and that is a rampage. I mean, this decision making in the end where they buy back on Ace, he instantly dies. Dude, and Mickey, what a well, beast. Woo. Uh, Mickey had an amazing game. You know that the four man.